In uh, Luke 10 and 19, Jesus is talking to his disciples, and uh, he had just sent the 70 out uh, to do some ministering in his name, and they came back excited and and, uh, and, and told him up in verse 17 that, man, even the devils are subject to us in your name. And they begin to see their authority. Uh and in verse 19, Jesus says this to them, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Uh, the word power here is used twice, and um, each time it's translated from two different Greek words. So, um the first power where Jesus says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. That word power in the Greek is exousia. Okay, so the Greek word translated power there is exousia. And exousia is referring to authority. Okay, so when he's talking about power here, he's talking about authority. And he says, Behold, I give unto you authority to tread. Now, the word tread there means to bring under uh, subjection or to totally dominate. It's, it's referring to total domination. He's saying, I'm giving you, I give unto you authority to totally dominate. Now, that's that word tread is interesting because when you go back to Genesis chapter one and verses 26 and then over in verse 28, when God created man, he said, have dominion over all the earth. And when you uh, look at the Hebrew word translated dominion in those verses, you find that that Hebrew word is also translated tread. So we're seeing a connection here. Um, in the beginning, God intended for man, and he created man, to have dominion or to tread or to totally dominate all of the earth. And so when God created man, he created man to be in a place of authority and total domination over everything. Now, We understand that Adam gave that away to the devil because he took that dominion and submitted it to the devil and submitted himself to the devil and uh, obeyed the desires of the enemy instead of God and sided with the devil and through that uh, made Satan the God, little g, of this world and Satan began to rule this world by ruling man who was given dominion total domination by God but now we see here with Jesus that he has come now to give man back this dominion that they gave over to the devil you remember in Luke chapter 4, Satan come to him and said, you know, uh, if you'll bow down and worship me, I'll give you all the kingdoms and their glory and their power because it was given to me and whoever I give it to, I will. And what he was referring to there was Adam gave him the kingdoms of the world. Adam gave him dominion in the garden by submitting to him. And Satan began to rule by ruling man who had been given rightful authority in the earth. Uh, but Jesus didn't have to submit to the devil to get authority. He came with authority and he was going to take all of Satan's authority back from him. And so I say all that to say this. When we're looking at Jesus and he's saying, I'm, I give unto you authority to tread, to dominate, which is the same thing. God gave man in the beginning 
So what we see here with Jesus is Jesus is giving back to the disciples, back to you and I, the dominion that Adam gave over to the devil in the beginning. And he's putting us back in this place of authority to totally dominate and rule in this earth. Now, this is the purpose of Jesus coming, not just to save us from sin and, and take us to heaven, but to put us back in God's original will and, and, and put us back in that place that God originally attend, intended for us to be, that place of authority. Now, if you finish this verse, it, 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 it reveals some powerful things. He says, Behold, I give unto you power or exousia or authority to tread, to totally dominate on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Now, the word power there in the Greek is dunamis. So dunamis is translated power there. And dunamis is referring to uh, strength, ability, force, uh, supernatural power. So what this is saying is, I, Jesus is saying, I'm giving you authority to totally dominate all the ability, the strength, the 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 power of the enemy, Satan, and his demons, and his kingdom. Hallelujah. This authority that Adam gave away, that Jesus has given back, is an authority to totally dominate all of Satan's ability. Ooh, hallelujah. Through Jesus, we are in a place of total domination over the devil. And there, there ain't nothing in his kingdom, in his arsenal, in his power that we don't totally dominate over. Hallelujah. That's powerful truth right there. That's that's powerful revelation. All right. Then it says, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now, notice this. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. So there's a lot of means by which we can be hurt. There's the means of germs. There's the means of accidents. There's the means of people harming us and robbing and stealing from us. Um, there's the means of Fear and, and depression. There's 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 all kinds of means by which we can be hurt. But this says nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing shall by the means of germs, diseases, people, car wrecks, plane crashes, terrorism, uh the government, whatever. Nothing shall by any of these means be able to hurt you now that's a powerful promise but listen you can't take that last part and nothing shall by any means hurt you and just pull that out of the scripture and just declare that and speak that because that's not a full truth and, and something that's not a full truth is a lie okay uh, you've got to connect it with the rest of this verse OK, to keep it in context, what this is saying is. Jesus told them, I'm giving you the authority to totally dominate all the power of the enemy. And because of that, nothing shall by any means hurt you. The enemy, Satan, sh should not be able to hurt you through any means, through germs, diseases, accidents, natural catastrophes, terrorism, war, uh, people, whatever, he shall not by any means at all be able to hurt you because I give you the authority to totally dominate all of his power and ability. See, the reason that Nothing shall by any means hurt us is because we're in we we've got authority in Jesus to tread to totally dominate. 
But now, the reason things are still hurting people, the reason the enemy is still able to hurt people through the means of germs and disease and terrorism and 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 people and words and 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 all of these things, accidents and 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 stuff like that is because we're not walking in our authority. As much as we will exercise our authority, we can go through life and be protected by our authority from any means the devil has to harm us. If we'll, the re, so the reason the enemy is able to harm the church through any means is because we're not exercising our authority. You know, uh, if you will exercise your authority and pray over your food and declare this food will not harm my body in any way, in Jesus' name, I, I thank you for this food. I eat this food in your name, Jesus, and, and it will bring good nourishment to my body and it will not harm me. If you'll exercise your authority and speak over that food, the enemy won't be able to harm you through the means of that food. If, uh, you know, you're going on a trip, if you will get in your car and not say, oh, man, I hope nothing goes wrong today. Uh, watch this, man. We'll probably have a flat tire. I'll be on the side of the road changing the tire. If you will exercise your authority and get in that car and say, Tires, you will remain strong. You will carry me where I'm going. In the name of Jesus, uh, I plead the blood over this car. No accidents and no uh, drunk drivers. No, nothing will be able to harm me. The angels are encamped around about me. They will bear me up in their hands lest that I dash my foot against the stone. Uh, if God is for me, who who can be again? I mean, if you begin to declare some things over that trip, the Lord is my shield and buckler. You know, he's my fortress. So if, if you begin to declare some things and exercise your authority over that trip, the enemy will not be able to harm you through the means of accidents and and and, and things of that nature. And so I'm just saying we have been given through Jesus our dominion back that Adam lost. And it's the authority to tread, to totally dominate all the power of the enemy. And so if we'll exercise our authority today, we can totally dominate anything the enemy wants to bring against us and we shall not be hurt.